So a dynamic panel is a container that holds other widgets and allows for multiple states. However, only one state is visible at a time. A dynamic panel is the only widget type that allows for pinning to a fixed position in a browser window. And this makes it an ideal choice for always visible navigation headers and sidebars. A carousel uh, is made using a dynamic panel. And the way you go about doing that is we can select this group of product cards. You can just right click and create dynamic panel. That turns it into a light blue color and you'll notice the boundary um, edges. And what I can do is resize the dynamic panel without resizing the, con the contents of the dynamic panel. So that's going to be the viewport. Right click and I'm going to add scroll bars to this dynamic panel and I want them to scroll uh, horizontally. Okay. And I'll just bring this down slightly so I can see the category and move this up just a bit. And I'm going to name this dynamic panel product carousel. Now let's preview this and you'll see what we just created. So it's this section over here. And there we go. We've got ourselves a carousel. Now, if you wanted to change how many products are shown in here, what you do is double click on your dynamic panel. You enter into this state. You'll see at the top the name of the dynamic panel and the state that it has. By default, it will have state one, but you can add more states. And then down here, you'll see a dotted outline, which is the viewport. Uh, by viewport, I mean what someone can see on the front end. So if you wanted to add more product cards, I'll just literally select this product card, alt drag, place it at the end here. Cool. And then we now have one, two, three, four, five. Let's make it six. Alt drag. Cool. And then once I'm done, I'll close this. And I'm back onto the home page. If I preview this, I now have six product cards in that carousel. So if I scroll, there's six. Let's go back to the file and home page. If I preview this, I now have six product cards in that carousel. So if I scroll, there's six. Let's go back to the file. And now what I'm going to do is I can replace this portion with this dynamic panel, alt drag. Awesome, and that's cool. Now, if I wanted to change the actual product titles, remember what we do, we override the master. So the masters are now contained within a dynamic panel. So firstly, we have to go into the dynamic panel, then we select the master instance that we want to change. You notice here there is a placeholder for price, category, and title. Let's put in some real data. So let's go back to the website. The first one is like a Nike Air Force One. So that's the product title, Nike Air Force One. And the price is 1699. The category is a men's shoe. And done. Whereas this one's a Nike Air Max Plus. So select Nike 
a max plus. It's also a men's shoe. And the price is two eight nine nine. Nine five. Cool. And let's close this and we're back onto our home page. Let's save this file by pressing Command S or Control S for PC. And you'll notice the second part hasn't changed, which is cool. So we only overrode the masters in, within this instance within a dynamic panel. Next up, we're gonna start adding functionality for the last part of this module and functionality to our menu, to our search bars. And we're gonna do that by introducing you to interactions.